At the beginning of this year, did you have Colton Kowser penciled in as the AL Rookie of the Year? If you said yes to that, we know you're lying. Because I don't think anybody did. The the smart money was on Jackson Holiday. But Colton Kowser took an opportunity, and he is absolutely running away with it right now in the AL. Leading all American League rookies right now, Colton Kowser sports a 3.1 war. Next highest is at 2.6 from Austin Wells with the New York Yankees. Colton has set himself up here to bring home some hardware and secure the Orioles another first round pick in next year's draft. I don't think the Orioles had their intentions this year of having Colton Kowser in this conversation. I think it was more if it if it happened, hey, we'll take it kind of thing. All the smart money was on Jackson Holiday. So for them to get Colton Kowser right now in this position is setting the future of this franchise up even more. When we take a look at some of the numbers, Kowser right now in offensive war is ranked second, only behind Wilmer Abreu. When you look at defense, he is also ranked second, only behind Austin Wells. Now, Kowser's rated one of the best outfielders in all of baseball right now. Not even just for rookies, all of baseball, his defensive run saved is among the league leaders. So Kowser on the year right now, at the time of this video, is hitting 253. He's hitting 247 off lefties and 255 off righties. Like I said, we knew Kowser got hot in April. In May, he turned out hit 188. In June, he hit 182. July, he turned in a 329. And so far in August, he's turned in a 357 average. Since moving into the leadoff spot, he's hitting 394, 13 for 37 so far, two home runs and 10 runs scored. But you're looking at a rookie who's played 105 games, who has 16 total home runs right now with 49 runs driven in. So you're looking at a guy that we, we all saw it in 2023. He, he really struggled at the plate, came into spring training, actually tore the cover off the ball. You didn't know what you were going to get. And then you've seen that hot April, and then he just went dreadful for a couple months. But you know what stayed really consistent? The absolute phenomenal defensive play. Left field, center field, it didn't matter. Colton was running things down that other guys in the major leagues couldn't. Getting the balls in the gap, cutting balls off so guys couldn't take the extra base. He was literally keeping himself in the lineup even while struggling because his defense was so good. And now we look at it in the second half alone, he's got a 17-game hitting streak already. So now you're looking at one of the best defensive outfitters in the game, turning into one of the most consistent hitters in the Orioles lineup, and is a leadoff hitter already. He's pulled that average down from a low 213 at one point to 253. And the only really change he said he's made is just get a little heavier bat. Went from a 33 and a half inch bat to a 34. When you look at Kowser's spray charts here, you can see a guy who does use the whole part of the field here. He's hitting home runs to left field. He obviously hits his home runs to the right field. What I find the funniest, though, is he has yet to pull a home run down the right field line, which is obviously the shortest part of every ballpark in the AL East. Colton, do yourself a favor, buddy. Pull the ball a little bit more. You'll hit more home runs. But this guy is just using the whole field. He has one of the hardest hit rates of all rookies in the AL. His hard contact rate is a 37.2. So 37% of the balls that he's swinging at, he is hitting on the barrel. That is third in the American League among rookies. You can see by this graphic here, if you leave a breaking ball in the zone against Colton Kowser, he's going to hammer it. He is 27 for 100 on the year against breaking balls. You're looking at a rookie. Now, typically rookies hit off the fastball very well. And they do struggle with off-speed coming up. Colton has made this adjustment already to already be hitting 270 off the breaking ball. I really want you to take a look at some of these swings here from Colton. It doesn't matter if it's a slider. He's hit it out. It doesn't matter if it's a fastball. He has hit it out. It doesn't matter if it's a curveball. He has hit it out. Colton has made the adjustments this year to the league. So if Colton keeps doing what he's doing right now, I don't think there's going to be a rookie of the year race. I think he right now has a comfortable lead doing what he's doing. If he continues to get better, continues to hit the way he's doing, continues to hit at the top of the Orioles lineup, I don't see anyone overtaking him from rookie of the year. 
Let me know down in the comments if you disagree with that. You can see throughout this video just the balls that he's driven, how far he has driven them. Just it is what it is. If you guys like this kind of thing, drop a comment down below, leave a sub, like the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.